hi hey hello welcome or welcome back to my channel so we are going to do something that i don't normally do which is um one read smutty romances and two read from my ipad because um um i i i don't have these books and yeah so I'm gonna read from my iPad, I'm gonna read digitally, um, so yes, I am going to bear that in mind when I do my evaluation of the thing. Um, and I do expect to be having a headache for the next three days or so. We've all seen all the romance books floating around on BookTok or TikTok or, you know, YouTube saying that these are the books of TikTok. And so, yeah, now I wanna... I, w I wanna w I wanna know what it's all about, okay? I'm I'm curious. I'm curious because I keep seeing these books, and I'm like, are they actually good? Is it something about them that's just pulling people in, or what is it about these books that people want? I wanna know. Okay, so I got a hold of three books. Um, so I'll read the blurbs of them, and then I'll skip to you know, me reading them. I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm just charging my iPad, okay? Okay. So, first one I have is Twisted Love by Anna Huang. Um, it's the first one in a Twisted series. And it's, let's see. He has a heart of ice, but for her, he'd burn the world. Cool. Off to a great start. Alex Volkov is a devil blessed with the face of an angel and cursed with the past he cannot escape. Okay. <laughs> driven by the driven by a tragedy that has haunted him for most of his life, his ruthless pursuit of su for success and vengeance leave little room for matters of the heart. Cool. Okay. But when he's forced to look after his best friend's sister, he starts to feel something in his chest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought they were going to say something lower down, but okay. Um, a crack, a melt, a fire that could end his world as he knew it. Ava Chen is a free spirit trapped by nightmares of a childhood she can't remember. But despite her broken past, she's never stopped seeing the beauty in the world, including the heart beneath the icy exterior of a man she shouldn't want. Yeah, yeah, we get that he's hot. Basically, that's what they said for the, like, the second sentence there. He's hot. Yeah, we get it. Her brother's best friend, her neighbour, her saviour, and her downfall. <laughs> Theirs is a love that never supposed to happen, but when it does, it unleashes secrets that sh could destroy them both and everything they hold dear. <laughs> oh my god. For some reason that, it, I mean, the way I'm reading it, the, the synopsis, yes, I'm over dramatizing it, but the words in the synopsis make me feel that this is going to be a cheesy book. Um, well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I'm joined by Tom. Let's see how how long he'll he'll stay here. He does like the lights on the on the wall though. So anyway, so I got my trusty little iPad. I'm just gonna do that way. Um, and let's read. What was it? Twisted love. Okay, so Ava. Ava, she's stranded and she calls her brother. And he's technically not mid-coitus. Like, she, he picks up and all she hears are, like, moaning sounds. I'm like, yeah, cool. But the word they used were intercourse. And for some reason, that word just gives me the ick. I don't know. I... <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, it means two different things. It means having sex and it also means talking. So, it's, yeah. Okay, what, okay, so chapter two, we go into Alex's POV and we're at a party and he's with a hooker. What? What? 
Oh, 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 okay. So it's it's Josh's um Ava's brother's birthday no but not birthday party, but his it's his party and for some reason they have semi prostitutes there. I I don't think they're prostitutes. I'm I'm gonna be honest, but they seem to be wanna be wanting to be prostitutes. Okay, so Josh asks Alex to look after his uh, his sister when he's gone to South America. I don't know. And Alex is all like, she's under my protection. What is he, the mafia? <laughs> yeah, so Alex moves in next door uh, to Ava, which is Josh. So Alex moves into Josh's house, which is next door to Ava. That's the forced proximity, isn't it? Hello? Are we forced proximity? No. Okay, no, no. This is a no to everyone. Do not take a phone call while you're in the middle of sex, okay? Just don't. Don't do it. It's weird both for the caller on the other end and for the person who's there with you if you take a call it's just weird don't do it don't do it come on let's just let's just agree on that don't do it don't don't question what are the odds that the business partner that alex wants to take down is ava and josh's dad My juices? I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! I was right. I was right. The fact that Alex is just this one-man mob is just ridiculous. He's not invincible. However rich, however good-looking he is, he's not invincible. This is just ridiculous. Cheesy moment, he sang to her. <laughs> I can't believe I've read this book. The next book I have is The Fine Print, the first book in Dreamland Billionaires by Lauren Asher. What's this book about then? Okay. Rowan, I'm in the business of creating fairy tales theme parks, projection companies, five-star hotels. Everything could be all mine if I renovated Dreamland. My initial idea of hiring Sarah was good in theory, but then I kissed her. Things spiraled out of control once I texted her using an alias. By the time I realized where I went wrong, it was too late. People like me don't get happy endings. Not when we're destined to ruin them. Zara, oh, they're supposed to be like a colon. That explains why it's so weird. Okay, Zara. After submitting a drunk proposal criticizing Dreamland's most expensive ride, I should have been fired. Instead, Rowan Kane offered me a dream job. Their catch? I had to work for the most difficult boss I'd ever met. Rowan was rude and completely off limits, but my heart didn't care. At least not until I discovered his secret. It was time to teach the billionaire that money couldn't fix everything. Especially not us. Wow, okay. I, I feel this is going to be cheesy too. Also, is this the one that's like loosely Disneyland based? I'm getting that from like Dreamland and... Um, what more did it say? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Theme parks, production companies, yeah. I feel like I'm in for a wild ride with this thing. Okay, on to book number two. The fine print. Hang on, let me find it. <laughs> Who was the fine print by? Laura Asher. <laughs> the fine print by Laura Asher. Let's do this. <laughs> Oh no, Gramps is dead and he's set his grandsons some tasks. One of them needs to get married. It's like, what the fuck? Why? And um, what's his name? 
this dude, Rowan? Rowan. <laughs> he's he's going to take over. Uh, he's doing some uh, weird thing at Dreamland. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting the Disney vibes, okay? I'm getting the Disney vibes. <laughs> so, um, Rowan does this uh, drawing for Sarah, but Sarah doesn't know that it's Rowan. Um, and she's like, well, give this dude uh, my number so I can at least thank him or whatever. Um, and... <laughs> They eventually start texting and um, Sara thinks she's texting the artist, Scott, and not Rowan. And Rowan is not supposed to like fall in love with her? Sure. Sure. The text flirting is hilarious. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible, but it's hilarious. I've read like half the book and there's no sex. Well, there's sex now, but I've read half a book with no sex and it's supposed to be a romance, smutty romance book. Bad book. <laughs> naughty, naughty, start over again. I'm joking. I don't want to use a condom. Blech. I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. Find me tomorrow. Or not. Oh, okay, okay. Last one I have is Icebreaker. The first in Maple Hills, I don't know, series. Seems to be three books so far, okay. Um, by Hannah Grace. Okay, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Can this be less cheesy than the first two? Mm. Anastasia Allen has worked her entire life for a shot at Team USA. A competitive figure skater since she was five years old. A full college scholarship thanks to her place on the Maple Hill skating team and a schedule that would make even the most driven person weep. Stacy comes to win. Oh, they're calling Anastasia. St okay. No exceptions. Nathan Hawkins has never had a problem he couldn't solve. As captain of the Maple Hills Titans, he knows the responsibility of keeping the hockey team on the ice rests on his shoulders. When a misunderstanding results in the two teams sharing a rink and Anastasia's partner gets hurt in the aftermath, Nate finds himself swapping his stick for tights. <laughs> oh, one scary coach for an even scarier one. Oh dear. Uh, the pair finds themselves stuck together in more ways than one, but it's fine because Anastasia doesn't even like hockey players. Right? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, this is going to be cheesy too, but it feels less cheesy than the first two, so I guess we'll see about that. Honestly, I'm not sure what I've got myself into, but I'm in it. I'm, I'm, I'm committed. I'm going to do this. I probably will regret my life choices afterwards, but who cares? It's, it's all for fun and games, isn't it? Book number three, Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I don't know what I'm doing to myself anymore. Okay, so Anastasia says she's in control and not a control freak. So I'm wondering, what is the difference with, between being a control freak and being in control when you have scheduled when to eat, when to sleep, when to have sex? What? How is that not... What? Oh, no. Please say it's not so. They have sex in the Uber with their drunk friends in the same Uber. Well, not sex sex, but they hand stuff. Okay, so Anastasia has had a friends with benefits sort of thing going on with Ryan, the basketball player. And then Nate tells her that he wants her to himself. And she, freak, and she freaks out. Like, okay, calm down, calm down. It's okay. <laughs> and then she decides to like play a game with him and she tells her, she tells him that if he finds her before midnight, he can do whatever he wants to her. He kind of, he does find her like right at the strike of midnight, like a minute after. And she sees her, him, she sees him walk off with another girl and she's jealous. So, 
Yeah, you got a bad girl. You got it bad. Bad. Oh, please do not say, yeah, baby, during sex. Mm. No, no, no. Okay, so Aaron, Anastasia's uh, skating partner, has a broken arm and now they can't do sectionals. He also blames Nate for the accident, as it were. Um, so Nate is now, like, not... He's off the hockey team. Um, he's... He's banned. He's been banned. <laughs> banned. So is this when he, like, volunteers to be Anastasia's partner? Because it feels like it. You go one, you go one, it makes two. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's try to do this without like doing massive glare. So I've now read three hyped TikTok book talk romances. I need a minute. <laughs> I need a minute to think about this. Think about my life choices and I'll be back with like some sort of summarization of it all. <laughs> Cause wow. Wow. <laughs> it was kind of funny though, so I'll give it that. All right, let's do this. I thought the best way to sum up these books would be to rank them against each other. <laughs> because they, they're just in the same, they're, they're in the same field. <laughs> so I wrote down some things that I thought maybe I should judge them on these things. As I edit later and upload and maybe think about it more, I will think about more things and I'll be like, oh damn, that was good, I need to put that in, uh, but I'm not gonna. But if I ever do this again, I will have ideas. Yes. So, um, the first one I've written down, the first prompt as it were, is well written. So, were any of these books well written? Well, <laughs> yes and no. Um, mostly no. So, the one that was, like, the best written, and by well written, I mean that the words made sense. It wasn't, like, just thrown in, just half-assed, I'm gonna just make a smutty book and be done with it. But actually, the wording is well written. I have another one for prompt later. Not for prompt, for plot. I have another prompt for plot, and that's a different subject, but were any of these actually good, well written, as it were? And yes and no, that is my answer. So out of the three of them, the one that was best written was Icebreaker. So number one, Icebreaker. After that, I think it's hard to say between the fine print and, geez, Twisted Love. So it's hard to say between fine print and Twisted Love because both of them are kind of badly written, I'm not gonna lie. In my, in my just, in my opinion, they're not great. Uh, but out of the two of them, if I'm gonna have to pick one of the other, I'm gonna have to go the fine print and then Twisted Love as number three. So, over to plot. Did any of them actually have any good plot? I guess the ranking of that is gonna be kind of the same as well written. I, I wish I could say it was differently, but it's gonna have to be the same. So, Icebreaker on number one, The Fine Print on number two, and then um, Twisted Love at last in, in number three. Uh, the third prompt I have is the smut slash spice level of it all. So, depending on what you go into a book for, yeah, it's, it's gonna be different there, but since these books were very much smut spice driven and not very much else driven they didn't really have much else going for them i'm not gonna lie there but out of the smuttiness of it so how much sex did they have how disgusting was the sex <laughs> really that's oh, listen i'm not a prude but there are things that just bleh, makes me go 
Ugh. And I'm sure they are for you too, because no one is perfect. If you're just going into these books for the the sex, as it were, the smut, the spice, whatever you want to call it, one of those, then <laughs> then Twisted Love is gonna be the one with most shit. I'm not gonna lie. Is it good? That's a different subject. That's a different question altogether, and I'm not gonna go into it. But yeah, Twisted Love did have most of it. Well, the roughest of it, let's say that, because what I'm thinking with the, the smutty, spicy, sexy lovers of them is that if you want that kind of thing, Twist of Love is the way to go. Second place will be the fine print <laughs> and the third one will be Icebreaker because that was more, Icebreaker felt more consensual while the other two, especially Twist of Love, Twist of Love had very rough, it wasn't like, oh, what was the word? It was very possessive and undermining and all that jazz, which people seem to love and I don't understand. <laughs> I know I know it's out there, I just, it's not for me. So yeah, if you like that kind of deal, uh, there you go. Enjoy, men. Did I actually enjoy any of these books? So <laughs> I'm gonna have to say yes and no on that question as well because yes, it was funny at times. It was weird funny and it was just funny funny and then there was moments that I questioned what, uh, what I was reading and why I was reading it. Do I want to read more? Kinda yes, but also but mostly because, so all three of these books are the first book in the series. All three of these books sort of have that, and they live happily ever after ending. They had like an ending. So what happens in book two? What is book two in all of these series? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know more about their weird sex lives because those parts were really not for me. Enjoyment level, I'm gonna have to go Icebreaker because it was just the one that felt most real, as it were. I mean, all of them felt pretty real in one sense or the uh, or another, but Icebreaker felt more like, well, I could sit here and actually enjoy this if I just skipped some of the weird bits. Some of the bits I could have skipped over, it's like, okay, imagine this, imagine watching your parents having sex. Yeah, do you really want to do that? No, no really, no. And if you do, why? It's one of those things you know happens, but you don't want to know about them. You don't want to see it. You don't want to actually know about it. You know it, but you don't want to know. Um, yeah, so icebreaker on top and... <laughs> I really can't pick between uh, The Fine Print nor Twister Love. It's gonna have to be a uh, double third, <laughs> whatever, because I'm really not sure. Well, if I had to do it, it's gonna have to be a uh, fine print over Twister Love, because Twister Love was twisted love. Yeah. Anyway, so I think my tea is now actually drinkable. Close enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to edit this video because I've not edited any part of this video and uh, I mean to have this video up in like an hour. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm gonna be a bit late. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought of this whole concept. Do you think I should read more of these types of books? Because I didn't hate it. I also didn't love it, but I didn't hate it, so I would be willing to do it, you know, for science. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching, I shall see you all next time, until then, take care, uh, bye bye.